Hey you guys, it's William here. I just wanted to come at you with a little Bath and Body Works haul. I got four candles today. I didn't want to get any more than that. But anyways, they had the 10 off sale, which was appealing to me because it was in stores and online. I don't have a store near me. It's about 40 minutes away if I want to do buy online, pick up in store. So I don't do that unless it's an extremely good candle sale and I don't want to pay shipping on it. But I was going into the store. I was looking for Golden Honeycomb. And the other one was pink lavender and espresso I couldn't find any of them and there wasn't even any in-store sales until today so these people must be buying them right when they come out at full price which is just a no-go for me because I'm not gonna spend full price on something that I may or may not like I'd rather spend full price on something that I know I like for example this blueberry marshmallow bar this is my third one it's just amazing. It fills up my whole house. Throw is definitely eight on it. I just like that blueberry muffin scent and it really satisfies my blueberry craving because I know blueberry maple pancakes isn't going to be coming around for a while now. So I'm going to have to deal with this blueberry marshmallow bar, which honestly isn't that bad. I really like it. I also got pink lilac and vanilla. This one smells really nice and light compared to the fresh cut lilacs. That one has a very strong floral scent. This one has vanilla blossom in it and dewy green. So I'm really excited to see what this one is all about when I'm burning it. I got the one with the thicker wicks. I usually try to aim for the thicker wicks because I think they perform better than, you know, those thin wicks. Blueberry marshmallow bar, as I told you. I love this one. This is my third one. I'm only about halfway done with my other one, but I knew I wanted to back up when they went on sale. So got this one. Scent notes of sugared blueberries, sweet vanilla, and toasted marshmallows. This one, I wasn't able to get one of the ones that had those thicker wicks, so I'm just going to have to deal with these thin, you know, wicks. But these ones, they do okay. I just have to cotton ball them sometimes. Sometimes I have to recoat them in wax and light them up with my candle lighter. But that's just one of the flaws of these thinner wicks. Other one was raspberries and whipped vanilla. Nice label on this one. It has a very beautiful jar. I was able to get the one with the thicker wicks. Um, this one, I had an associate pick me out a candle and she said she loves this one. It filled up her whole house and it has scent notes of pink raspberry, strawberry, vanilla bean, and sugar lemon drops. So on cold, you don't really get much of the lemon. You get more of the raspberry and I can kind of smell the strawberry in there. But I'm excited for this one just because I really like, you know, I'm still in my gourmand scents. I don't really care for the floral ones. Every once in a while I'll want to try a floral scent, but I really like those sweet bakery fruity candles. And then last but not least, I got another Mahogany Teakwood Intense. This one is just really good for neutralizing scents or let's say you cook a steak and some potatoes and onions and it smells like steak and onions permeating throughout your house. So light this one up and it's really going to neutralize that scent for you. Anything with like citrus in it will neutralize it. What's another good one? Uh, black tie, that one has sage in it. I found that one really good for neutralizing scents. Uh, laundry day, I'm pretty sure that one would probably be good for neutralizing scents as well. It would probably fill up your house with a nice clean laundry scent. But I really like this mahogany teak one, teak wood candle. I had one about three months ago and I burnt through it and I just wanted another one. And every time I went into the store, they were gone and they only had the regular one. So I went with the mahogany teak wood intense. Glad I got another one while it was on sale. I used my 20% off coupon and I got them for around $13.56, I'd say a piece. Um, I wasn't really that bummed out about the golden honeycomb candle just because I watch all these tried and true candle channels. Um, for example, the candle channel. Um, Kent, he always gives very good, brutally honest reviews. So if he says something isn't a good thrower, I'm just going to take his word for it. I might try it myself, you know, just to see if he got a bad batch or something, but I can always return it. I just don't like returning just because it affects, you know, prices and all that stuff. We can get price increases and I'm sure the employees get their hours cut when we return products, but it is what it is. If you're spending a good amount of money on something, you want the product to perform. So 
I'll keep an eye out for Golden Honeycomb. I'll also keep an eye out for Pink Lavender and Espresso. I might just have to place an online order if that's what I have to do. But I just wanted to share my little haul with you guys. And I'll also be doing some reviews on the pink lilac and vanilla and the raspberry and whipped vanilla, that one. These two are coming with reviews. I already did a review on this one. And I did a review on the Mahogany Teakwood Intense. So just wanted to share the haul. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.